Hey guys, well done on the course last night. Uh, so the first thing that we looked at was how to hold a plectrum. So you put the, the plectrum or the guitar pick as it's also known in your left hand. You take your right hand and your first finger hooks over like that. And the wide part of the plectrum sits on that part of your finger and your thumb comes over the top. So it should look like this. Okay, and you should have about half of the plectrum sort of poking out of your fingers and it wants to be at an angle that's coming out of your hand and directly over the strings like that. <coughs> so you don't want the pick falling in a different direction like that or something. It's got to kind of be like that. And that um, leaves a big surface area for the, for the pick to sit on um, and stops it sliding around. So we looked at Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan, and we've got the chords G, D, and A minor. And the new chord is an A minor. Um, and to play an A minor, it's the same shape as an E major that looks like that, but you move all your fingers down one string. And this time round, you strum from the a string downwards. So this is an A minor chord, A string. Okay, so the, the order of the song goes G, D, A minor. And you can change between the chords just using down strums two down strums on G, two down strums on D, four on A minor, to get the right timing uh, to play the chords without the strumming pattern. But once we add a strumming pattern, it's good to practice it on one chord at a time just to get used to it. And the strumming pattern goes down, 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 up. Okay, so that's... So I'm going to repeat this like we did in, in the lesson um, over and over again. It goes down, 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 up. That's it once round. And this is how it should sound moving around. Down, 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 up, 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 down. Okay. And saying it out loud, just like I've just done it there, is a really great way of internalizing this strumming pattern. So if I play that on just on a G chord, it should sound like this. So you've practiced that just on your G chord. You'll want to do the same on the D and the A minor just to get used to how it feels on each chord. Once you've done that, we're gonna do once round on the G, once round on the D, twice round on the A minor. So it sounds like this. So the trick to getting this strumming pattern going is doing the last, um, after the last upstroke of the pattern, going straight into the next down of the next one. So it's down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, and so on. The only gap is between the first two downs.